The angel death checks in at a local motel. Murder suspect Ryan Jenkins was a good guy businessman, but the manner of his death could have been scripted for TV. As police investigated Jenkins' suicide at a secluded Canadian motel, they launched a manhunt for the mysterious young woman who had checked in with him. The dramatic end came at an isolated motel at the edge of British Columbia's mountainous interior on the outskirts of Hope, a town known for its giant wooden carvings made with chainsaws and as the site of the first bloody Rambo movie. The motel manager said the woman paid cash for three nights, and when the couple didn't check out, he unlocked the room and found him dead. I cracked the door, and there he was, hanging there in front of me, feet touching the floor, Walker said. He definitely wanted to die. I smelled death. You did well, Ryan. You did well. I like the business with the teeth and fingers. Pretty thorough. I'm so tired. So tired. Yeah, I know. Tell me all about it. There's not much to tell. The killing went by quickly. It was cutting her up that took up so much time and trouble. I bet you couldn't believe that they used her breast implants to identify her body. That bitch told you to cut off her breasts. I was done cutting, but we're safe now. I want to go to sleep, to forget, to sleep forever. That will come soon enough, darling. Listen, I need for you to get some rope from the trunk of the car. Rope? We have one last thing to do, and that is to wrap a pretty picture and story for the media. I mean, I have a reputation to keep. Who are you? Let's not go over that, shall we? Suffice it to say that I'm one of your Calgary girlfriends. But I don't remember you. But I do you. I like the spectacular ones, and boy, you are spectacular. What do you want me to do now? Get the rope and follow my instructions. Will I get rest then? Yes, indeed, my darling. Yes, indeed.